Okay, so the memory saccades are just a great tool that we recently added to Focus Builder, uh, which is really great for to to challenge our patients' ability to um, to work their working memory and to exercise uh, their working memory. And so let me just run through exactly what the settings are, what they mean, and, and, and how to use this exercise. First of all, you've got target type at the top, and you can use anything that you have available in the other exercises, but my two favorites are either the monster set or the sports set. And that is because each target that appears in your exercise will be different than the other one. And if you've got a lot of targets that you want to uh, remember and, and uh, you know, reproduce in the exercise, uh, when they're all different images, it just uh, makes it a little bit easier. So we'll just leave it on sports set uh, for now. The next one would be uh, dot color, like other exercise. If you, if I had used a different uh, type of target, um, let's just say this one here, I could change the color of it um, to green or anything else. But we'll, we'll leave it on sports set for now. Uh, the third line here, we've got center dot. Now the center dot is um, I always leave that on. I never turn it off. Um, but basically, in the center of the screen, you'll have a black dot, a fixation dot. And um, the screen will look like, basically, it has a grid like this with the black dot in the center. Um, but let's go back to settings here, and then we'll, we'll play an exercise after that. Um, target order. Now, as your targets appear, uh, you can um, they'll, they'll appear in a particular order. Um, but when you have to remember, so the targets will disappear and you have to remember in what order they appeared, uh, you've got to be able to identify exactly where the targets uh, appeared, either in order, in reverse order, or both, depending on what you select. We're going to leave it in order for now. Uh, another option is to have the mirror exercise option, either on or off. And uh, if I leave it off, then uh, what you'll see is you have the option to select which quadrants you want your targets to appear in. It could be just one quadrant, it could be two, three, or four, so I'll leave them all on for now. But back to the mirror option, if I turn that on, see my quadrant options turn off. And right on the right hand side here you can select which quadrant you would want your targets to appear in and let's just say I were to pick uh, that right upper quadrant, uh, then I would have to remember in that right upper quadrant where the um, targets appeared, look at each target one at a time, and then back to my center fixation dot, next target center fixation dot, and then I would have to, once they disappear, I'd have to reproduce exactly where, where they appeared, and then in the mirror location in all other quadrants, where those targets would be in their mirror locations. Mm -hmm. Or I can do that with hemi fields. Okay, we're going to just turn that off for now because I'd like to, for you to see mm -hmm. exactly what this looks like. Quantity, uh, that's the amount of targets that you want to appear that you would have to remember. Um, for demonstration purposes, we're going to keep it low at a three here. Um, and then appearing speed, that's really just how much time you want in between each target. Uh, I set it at two seconds right now, so we'll just leave it there. Um, and then you can de decide uh, if you want a sound to go along with that. But um, for some reason, when I play uh, my iPad here, project it and record it, um, because it's plugged in, the sound doesn't uh, actually come out, so I can't demonstrate it in this video. But it works really well, and I really love that uh, sound factor. But we'll keep it on no sound for now. At the very bottom, you can press Save and uh, also save the exercise uh, you could put you know your patient's initials if you want or you know whatever you want to call it save it and um, once it's saved it'll be in your saved exercises uh, right here from the home screen at the bottom here um, bottom right that's where it would be located uh, right there at the very top memory seconds all right so let's go back to it and let me just show you exactly what this would look like now we are doing this in order, so I'm going to hit done at the top right and start. I'm looking at the center fixation dot. Well, I look at that new target that just appeared back to center, second target back to center, third target back to center, and then I would have to reproduce that exact same scenario. And I'm going to purposely go wrong here so you could see uh, what happens and then right. 
So I got four out of three. And and I stress this to my patients. Make sure you look at the center target with your eyes and then look at the, the first appearing target and then go back to center and then second back to center third back to center and then when I reproduce it I don't just kinda of lead with my finger I lead with my eyes first I bring my eyes from center to uh, that first target and then I I hold it there and I press on the, the square the tile back to center second target press on the tile back to center third target press on the top okay um, so I like to have my patients lead with their eyes as opposed to their finger um, but that's just my my preference now uh, let's say that uh, we wanted to make some modifications here we're gonna try reverse order so that you get to see what that's like um, if I want I'm just gonna just isolate it here to upper left quadrant and hit done and here we go look at the center target first target appearing back to center second target back to center third target back to center that's actually fairly easy um, so I'm doing this in reverse order now so last target was here and I'm going back to center uh, second target here back to center and third target oh I'm sorry first target here and back to center okay so I get three out of three um, you can make this harder by uh, using the mirror um, option oh and actually before the mirror let's do both here so you get to see what that that's like as well um, and this time I'm just gonna make my saccades um, in upper quadrants if uh, for some reason this was more therapeutic to my patient you know the upper field are just um, will, will tend to activate the um, parietal lobes more and the lower fields uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry the yeah, so the lower fields would be more parietal and the upper field of view are more temporal. So here we go. Target one, back to center, two, back to center, three, back to center. Okay, so now we're doing both. So first I'm going to do it in order. And now I'm going to do reverse order. Okay, and there it is, six out of six. Okay, so naturally your patients will get easier, uh, better and better at these, so over time you want to make it harder. When you turn on mirror, uh, you'll have the option to pick um, the quadrant that you want the dots to appear in or the hemifield that you want them to appear in. So I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, upper right quadrant here. And I've got, uh, we'll make it two targets just to make it go a little quicker. And I'm going to change the sports set to monster so you get to see what that's like. Okay, so now, first of all, I'm going to focus on that center target. You know, first target, back to center, second target, back to center. And so what I'd have to do is repeat the same sequence and then mirror it into another quadrant. Oops, I think I... Uh, Oh, okay, I had selected both. Okay, so both I would have to do it in order and then in reverse order. But let's just go in order for now. Okay. All right, so first target, back to center. Second target, back to center. So now I would repeat the same sequence. And then I would do the same in all other quadrants. It would be here, here, here. Oops, here and here. Okay, so there, I got a bunch of errors there, 12 out of eight. Um, so these scores, again, you can keep track of. They're, they're not gonna be recorded in, in the app, but uh, your patients can keep track of them on the side. Um, if I wanted to do mirror with hemifield, uh, in, let's just say, we're gonna do reverse order. We're gonna try to make it a little harder. Left hemifield, reverse order. So first target appears look up at it back to center look at the second target back to center now I'm gonna actually find them on the hemi field that they appeared in in the reverse order and then I would uh, do the same in the opposite hemi field in reverse order and that's how this one goes okay so that sort of gives you I think a pretty good idea of all that you can do here um, with the app
and uh, there's just a lot of flexibility and I hope that you enjoyed as much as we do. We'd love to hear from you so please uh, give us some feedback.